pension to the Nobel Prize, right? Uh, it was awarded to, I uh, feel free to leave, right, for those who want to stay. Uh, the quantization of circuit and also the microscopic tunneling of Josephson, uh, of uh, quantum tunneling, right? Uh, so this we won't teach here, we won't, uh, we, we, we won't uh, test here, but I think it's good to review. The interesting thing is that when you cool down a LC tank, right, all the E students here, probably physics students know that also, right? Uh, if you have a resonator in which you have the uh, inductor and also a capacitor, the energy will convert from inductive energy to the capacitive energy, okay. store in electric field and then later convert to the magnetic field, right? And if you cool it to very, very low temperature, it is possible that you have either zero or only one unit of energy. We call it photon. Now, photon is light, right? You may get confused. We're talking about uh, electrical circuit. How come you have photon? But do not forget, photon is just electromagnetic wave with a certain wavelength. Everything is electromagnetic wave. So that's why some people will call it photon. So when you create very, uh, very low energy, you actually will see a quantization of energy. So this is uh, not the real space of X, uh, coordinate, but it's the thrust which related to the magnetic thrust and the energy or the, 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 the so-called kinetic energy or momentum is related to the charge. So you don't know this in the future. If you take E274, uh, you will learn a little bit. But anyway, just accept it. Uh, we also have a parabolic landscape. And just like a simple harmonic oscillator, if you heard about that before, you actually have quantization of energy. The energy is not continuous. So for each quantum of this, there is a, a, a certain, uh, you can have one unit of uh, energy, two unit or three unit of energy of the photon. So it's just like I have one fo zero photon, no photon here. But even if you don't have photon, you actually have energy. That is the interesting thing about uh, quantum mechanics. Because uh, like in vacuum, because of this, Finite fluctuation energy it causes something very interesting. Instead of like it is not nothing. For example, it can generate electron hole pair, etc. Right? And uh, so this is the quantization. And another important thing about this um, Nobel Prize is that they show that it's possible to have macroscopic tunneling. So what does it mean? We we accept that for an electron, very small object, it can tunnel through a barrier, right? But if I say I'm going to tunnel through this wall, no one will believe that because I probably even one trillion times I cannot go through this wall. But uh, in, when you cool down a circuit to superconducting state, the interesting thing is the electron will pair together. Electrons are something called hard spin particle. They cannot exit with the same state, just like you learn from chemistry. Remember the Pauli exclusion principle? When you fill up the atom, you cannot have two Electron having the same state. That's why one S can only have two electrons, one spin up, one spin down. Then you need to go to the second shell, right? They exclude each other. But light is different. Light is something called boson. That's why you have laser. All the lights have the same state, same phase, exactly the same. So it's like they're going together. Now, if you cool down a metal to very low temperature, it becomes a superconductor. You form something called Cooper pairs. So you can think of the two electrons with opposite spin and momentum pair together. And they become one, uh, something called Cooper pairs. And then, it's just like the night, you can have exactly the same phase between the Cooper pairs. And you can then describe them by a phase factor. So this aluminum, uh, it is a macroscopic object. You can see it, hundreds of micron, micrometer. The, all the electrons in this uh, aluminum, they are actually in phase. They are like a marching army. So you can treat them as a macroscopic object. And this is something called Josephson Junction. From this one to here, you have an insulator, but the electron, the wave function can tunnel through it, right? So we are going too much, but basically here it shows that, it, it's just to show that this special uh, structure, which is superconductor, insulator, superconductor, 
what we call it Joseph's Junction, have some very interesting thing. It behaves like an inductor, but it is a long linear inductor. So earlier we said that I can quantize the LC tank, but this is not a good two qubit. Do you know why? You see that they all have the same level, same energy spacing. So while I have zero and one state, if I call this zero state, this is one state, I have two state also. And it is easy for the electron or, or the not electron for the system to go to a higher state. Then you exist the computation space. Right? We have been talking about zero and one, right? Then it's no longer a qubit. Now then with this. Josephson Junction, it also has inductance, right? We don't go to the details, but it is non-linear. As a result, the landscape is not parabola, so that from zero to one state, you have certain energy. You go to another state, you have a different energy. So then you won't be able to promote the electron to another level easily. So you confine it into the zero and one. And that becomes a very useful uh, qubit uh, uh, state. So uh, the Nobel Prize uh, in simplified term is that they demonstrate that these are just circuits. They just are some quantum circuits, right? Like this, a, a microwave circuits that you study. And they show that they can quantize it. And they also did so this microscopic tunneling. And then this a regular electrical circuit can be used for quantum computing, something like that. Okay, so I will stop here. Thank you. If you have a question, let me know.